one of the coolest tools that Google has added to the Google Docs is the ability to add these drop down menus, uh, which are nice because the drop down menus allow uh, you to update. And depending on how you set up your sharing, uh, you can share a document with students and let them be editors. Uh, you can let them be viewers. And really, if you wanted a student to update this they could be editors but if you wanted to show students where you thought they were at you could set them up as just viewers and they could see the progress you were making uh, on their document or where you thought they were uh, so that's a really nice uh, tool to have the ability to do so if you wanted to create one of these you're simply going to go to the insert menu and you go to building blocks and Google already has some that are you know pre-set up so if you go to re if I were to place a review tracker in there, you'll see that I can type in here and what the review is or what the item. Uh, these are entirely customizable and easy to set up. Uh, you'll also notice that these are already pre-programmed with not started in progress, under review, and approved. The button down here makes that easily editable. So if you click on that, you'll note you can change the colors, you can change what the what the template name is. So you can change those. And when you do hit save, you can apply that to all of them. So all of them will now have starting as the listing point. So that's a really great feature. If you had more than four items, which I think most people would, just by right clicking, you can insert a row below and it will add that uh, on and it'll also put this status. The other thing that is nice is that uh, these drop downs, you can, uh, just come behind this one and delete one and then we can insert from the drop down menu you'll see there's a drop down menu item here and there's some that are already pre-programmed and there are also some preset ones so the pre-programmed ones are ones that you as a teacher would create or you can just totally add a new one so I actually created one a little bit ago and if I would just click on that you'll see that that's now in there so I've added my own so super easy and uh, this is really a great tool that you can use uh, in a variety of ways, depending on your subject matter, uh, not only with students, but also in a professional manner. So hopefully you'll give these preset options a choice. And if you have questions about it, as always, let me know. Thanks. Have a great day.